So now in this video, we're gonna see how we can take a PMP bipolar junction transistor here, and uh, with uh, five volts here, which actually we can vary it a bit, but a red LED with low amount of current, we're gonna set about one volt across a 100 ohm resistor, and that should give us 10 milliamps of current if there is no load. It should also give us 10 milliamps of current if there is a load, as long as the load doesn't need too much voltage. So a red LED is going to need about 2 volts of the 5 volts, a green LED about 3 volts of the 5 volts. That will leave uh, 1 volt across the uh, 100 ohm resistor here to again uh, set the current. Whatever extra voltage we have will go across the uh, transistor. So let's look at that with the multimeter. I have the uh, multimeter set to measure milliamps of current. You can see there if it has numbers, you set it to a number higher than you can expect to measure. Since it is uh, milliamps, we leave the red probe in that spot. For this meter, we only have to change it if we measure high current right there. So in the amp range. In any case, we need to complete the circuit to get our uh, voltage measurement. So there you can see it's not uh, spot on, 10 milliamps, but it is close. That's the main thing. Now we're going to bypass the LED there, and you can see again, we are just shy of uh, 10 milliamps. So there's a lot less load right now. There is no load, whereas there we have the LED. So we bypass the LED. We could have just removed it completely, if this is a little easier to understand, and uh, connect it there. And uh, you're going to see a slight glow when we make this connection, because there's no current flowing through that LED when we're not making that connection. We actually need uh, to complete the circuit to uh, get this circuit to work. So we got the green LED there. Again, we could uh, bypass it or we could go to it. So the green LED drops more voltage. And uh, so normally there'd be less current if you're just using a resistor, but the transistor is uh, changing how much voltage it uh, drops to make sure that we keep about one volt across that resistor. So now I set the meter to measure voltage right there. And we're first going to look at the voltage across the green LED. So I'm going to go over there and then up to the anode. I know it's hard to see. And there we got about three volts across it. That's what we expect. And we should have about one volt across the transistor. And uh, there we can see that. That's a uh, emitter on top, collector at the bottom. It's a 2N 3906. And then we'll check at the uh, voltage across the resistor. And I gotta kind of weasel my way in there. So uh, one volt, as uh, we expected. Now we will grab the red LED. So we expect two volts across the red LED at uh, 10 milliamps of current, and then uh, still one volt across the resistor, and thus we should have two volts across the transistor. So first we'll look at the voltage across the red LED, two volts, as I said. We'll look at uh, the resistor, and it's still got that one volt. That's what's setting the current. And so we should have two volts across the transistor right there. And uh, at this current, so current's going through the LED and the 10,000 ohm resistor. And so it's not going to have as high of a voltage as the one with 10 milliamps of current going through it. It's close to about 1.7 volts because of the current trickling through it. And now I uh, move that jumper up so that you don't have to waste time watching me do that. You can see we're going right to the collector there, emitter up there, and the base in the middle. This is a 2N3906, flat side is to the uh, left right there. We will uh, zoom back so that we can see it easier here, the uh, voltage reading that we're gonna get. So first, let's go across the resistor again. As uh, we saw before, we were holding one volt, and there again, we are holding one volt uh, pretty well. And remember, it's a 100 ohm resistor, so to get the current through it, you just take the voltage across it uh, divided by its resistance, and you get the current. So we got the 4 volts across the transistor. The rest of the supply voltage, which I didn't measure before, is uh, 5 volts. And uh, so we have the LED here again. We're going to have the uh, current, uh, the voltage across it, about 1.7, as long as... We have that connection there. You can see when I pop it, we don't have uh, as much voltage across it. And that's because current has to go through that resistor and then the base to the emitter, the emitter I mean, to the base, and then that comes across and goes through that resistor. So we lose about 0.7 volts 
in that process so that's the 0.7 volts we're seeing so in any case I'm not going to go into more detail on that hopefully it makes sense so actually to wrap this up we'll come back and take a closer look at the diagram because we only saw it far away so the main part of uh, setting the voltage we got five volts here and a red LED in series with a very high or relatively high value uh, resistor there very little uh, current is flowing that's because I wanted 1.7 volts in order to get one volt across the resistor make the math easy and uh, red LEDs at very low current they start conducting up about 1.5 or so as we saw in the video at the higher current about 10 milliamps you got about 2 volts built up across it so in any case 1.7 volts at uh, this point we have the uh, 100 ohm resistor here and it's important that you also have a connection from collector to ground in order uh, to get this to go so you can either short it in this case we shorted it through the meter or you can have a load as long as the load doesn't need too much voltage so you can see here that uh, we got to go through the resistor and then the emitter to base which has a diode drop and uh, that's why when you go through the resistor and then the emitter to base it's adding about 0 0.6 0 0.7 volts approximately uh, to that total uh, voltage this is a parallel connection we got uh, the LED the resistor and the diode drop there all coming to the same point there so it's gonna have the same voltage drop in uh, 1.7 volts and uh, so we're gonna have 1.7 volts there the rest of the voltage is gonna be across this resistor when it comes to the collector so a little bit of current's gonna trickle through here to maintain about one volt across the uh, 100 ohm resistor and uh, well it has that voltage current going to flow through the resistor and have an easy path to ground right there that's the main thing so the one volt divided by 100 ohms is 0 0.01 amps which is the same as 10 milliamps so adding an LED it doesn't matter we still have that voltage across the resistor and current is still flowing remember just a tiny trickle needs to go from emitter to base through that way because a lot more current flowing through the LED and uh, so just a little trickle needs to go through but ultimately a lot of current goes to ground whether there's a load or not so the physics behind this are quite complicated but uh, the main principles are pretty simple as I said before when you see a, a circuit like this where the emitter has some resistance right there from uh, emitter to a supply voltage it's holding a voltage across that resistor which is setting a current on the collector side so hope that made sense thanks for watching check out one of the other videos i'm posting the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot i'll see you in the next video